and welcome. Today I'm going to show you one of our house updates. As you all know, or many of you know, we bought this house recently and there's many projects that we want to do in this house. So if you like a before and after projects, this is the channel to subscribe to because there's many projects that we're going to be tackling along. One of the first projects that we did was the floors. So the floors when we bought the house, and I'm going to show you the pictures, they were this red oak natural color, which is what you commonly see in most of the builder grade houses. <laughs> and they're going to be doing this as well. Not the railings or the spindles. And then this over here. And this. So when we bought the house, we liked the color, but it was not that we loved it. We have always been more inclined into dark wood colors. So we were playing with different colors. And if you guys like natural colors and light colors, that's all good. We don't have a specific way of decorating a house. It's whatever you guys prefer. But we prefer that dark wood color. So we play with different colors. I'm gonna show you the picture here. And you can see that we play with different colors and we were like 12 different options. And so we finally decided with the antique brown. The antique brown is just looks amazing for us. I like how it is that like you have it that dark chocolate color, but at the same time you still have them, some of that golden and it looks a little bit light at some point. So you have a mix and match of both worlds. So we love that color. So that was the first part, the first thing that we did. And then we need to do then the stairs. I don't know if you have noticed, there's a few videos that I started in this section over here and you would see that we had the, the floors done, but we did not have the stairs done. So this is something that we just tackled recently. Woo! Yes! Thank God! And so we finished with this and we wanted to have um, the railings done with that antique brown color. So it's gonna be a little bit more difficult because it's not gonna be just one color, it's gonna be then the antique brown for the railings and then the spindles, we wanted it in that white color. As you can see, the big walls, we also kept them in the antique brown. So you're gonna see that, I'm gonna show you in the Juliet balcony and the double stair that we have, all the big walls, they have that antique brown color. This is the true black color, rose wood, red mahogany, red oak, spice brown, antique brown. Chestnut, Jacobian, Espresso, which one is that? 
dark walnut. Ebony. My favorite red ebony. But this is a little bit more grayish. And then antique brown, which is more reddish and more. Así está el piso ahora. Ya terminamos con todo el piso. Pusieron tres capas. El color es el antique brown. Se hizo una capa de satín y dos capas de semicos. Así quedamos. You don't know nobody. You have to keep on asking people. And we got the recommendation for Amazonia Floors by another guy, Scott, that was going to do our carpet. And we stopped with the process of doing the carpet because we were very busy with some something else. And so we decided to then just tackle first the the floors, and that's when we got in contact with Sebastian, the owner of Amazonia Floors. And I can only say great things about them. So if you are in the area of Maryland and you're considering to do your floors, um, refinishing your floors with somebody, you can go ahead and contact them. Now through that company, we became good friends with many of the employees, especially with one of the employees, Natividad, and we loved him so much and he was so great. And then months later, we contacted him and asked him about doing the railings and to see if that's something that he could do by himself because we, we established just a great relationship with him and we just like him so much so that's when we then got in contact with him and he even helped let us help him <laughs> and get all greasy and get all dirty and doing all this stuff so i'm going to show you the process of that 
and also a little bit of the floors. And the first part, we're taping everything. Look at that. That was amazing. It's gonna look so good in here. Owner, founder. Got the that over here. Good. Super awesome. So the spindles are gonna be white and the railings are gonna be antique brown. Antique brown. Thanks, get off. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yay! Yay! Se ve bello. Ya empezamos, ya empezamos, mi gente. We started. It looks amazing. As you can see, another thing that we did, we also did the sides of the stairs. This already had this crown molding already painted in white color, but then this side was painted in that red oak, so that orange yellow color. So we decided to do also that in that white color so that it looks like it expanded. It looks even bigger because with the crown molding, now it looks like a bigger wall. So we decided to do that in here and also in the inside of the stairs, which I'm going to show you 
um, once you walk into the hallway. And then it matches then with the spindles, so it's not all just a deep brown. So that's something that if you guys are thinking about painting, check it out and maybe pay, play with the colors and see if you like it. And we did that inside in here as well. The side, side. So as you can see in our Juliet balcony, we also got all the poles, all the big poles, they are keeping that antique brown look. And what we did is at the end, we finish it with a gloss. I know that you have different options, the matte gloss, semi-gloss, but we decided to go with the gloss because we like that shiny look. I know that at the end, we just a little bit, um, Damp it out with a cloth and that help with not having it super glossy. So if you want to have that glossy, shiny look like we ended up having, take your brush and have it almost completely dry. Just put it just a little tiny coat. So that you just get that glossy look, but it's not going to be too thick. Because I had, when the employees were here, the workers were here, and they were giving us the different samples, they did one sample, it was really thick, glossy, and I was like, uh-uh, I don't want that. That looks like somebody vomited gloss in there, so no. Um, if that's something that you guys like, very glossy, good for you. You go whatever you guys like. But I prefer more natural, that I would never, even though that this is finished, I wanted to make it look like it has been like that forever. And I think that we achieved that goal. I think that we actually got that look that hey, we bought this house with this color just like that. And I am very picky in the how we paint it and all that stuff. So I, I went through all the little nooks and crevices that I could find and, and the workers were so nice letting me do all of that. So, I mean, this is just exactly how we wanted it and how we envisioned it. Justin had, has a very similar taste to my taste. So. We're very lucky there. We both like this. So this is the the uh, Juliet balcony, and I'm going to show you from downstairs, which is the first thing that you see, and it just welcomes people, and it tells them, "Hey, you're invited. You're 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 welcome here." And it just looks really nice when you walk in and you see the first thing that Juliet balcony this dif different double tone. I think that we got a great option here. We made a, a good decision of going with the double tone instead of just making it all dark because we wanted to keep something fresh. And I think the white has that fresh color. As you know, my favorite colors are just black, white, and gold. So <laughs> let's go and show you the catwalk. And here, this is the catwalk, and uh, again, it looks really, really good. Another project that we're going to be doing in the future, but again, this is all little by little. It's going to be the removal of the carpet, putting a new carpet. And so we have all kinds of little things that we want to do. But again, we are very grateful to find the home of our dreams. It's, thank God we found it after so many years. So if you guys are in the process of also looking for your dream home, don't, don't get discouraged. It took us a lot of time to find our home, many years of looking for the home, as a matter of fact. And in the meantime, we were just preparing ourselves and saving and living in a tiny little apartment. And all the decoration that you see right now in here, all those little bushes, all the little table, everything is still from the apartment. We have not bought that many things. There's no need for going crazy and spending so much money to make your home look good. Okay, let me show you the little table. So this little table comes also from the apartment and it was in a light brown color. I know that I did a video of the avocado tree and it's looking so good, the avocado tree. And so you could see there this little table and I will show you the little picture here. And so it was light brown and again, we did not sand it, we didn't do anything. We just took the extra paint that we have with the antique brown and we went ahead and painted it. And it just looks like we bought a new table. It looks amazing. So when when we're very happy with it. I hope that you all enjoyed
enjoyed this video and if you did, please click the like button and also subscribe to our channel. But you have a wonderful day and enjoy the miracle.